Hi, I'm Dr. Lowell Payton. I'm an orthopedic surgeon with Tidewater Orthopedic Associates in Hampton, Williamsburg, and Suffolk, Virginia. I primarily do shoulder surgery. I have a lot of patients who are in a sling afterwards, and so I want to go over today how to use the sling, why do we use the sling, some little tricks to hopefully help make this time in a sling a little bit more bearable. So first of all, why do you use a sling? Well, for a lot of work that we do in shoulder surgery involves repairing something back to the bone. So we're sewing it in place and we want to make sure it heals there. If you start using the arm too soon, you could pull apart what we've sewn together. So we need to protect that for a while until it started to heal. There's going to be two types of movement that we do with the shoulder after you've had surgery. You'll hear these terms as you go to physical therapy and they're very important. One is called passive movement, which means somebody's lifting the arm for you. Pretend it's a dead weight and somebody's raising it and moving it around so it doesn't get stiff. That's okay to do. The second is called active movement, meaning you're using your muscles to try to move the arm. We don't want that. And so that's why we use the sling. It helps hold the arm still so that you're not going to accidentally start moving it around or start reaching for something that you shouldn't be reaching for. Like trying to reach out even to wash your hands. Sometimes some simple tasks like that you don't really think about. The sling helps you avoid making that mistake. So the way I like to think of it is from your shoulder to your elbow, your upper arm should stay pretty limp close to the side of your body during the recovery initially after shoulder surgery. I don't want you raising it out in front. I don't want you lifting it out to the side. It needs to hang down at the side. We don't want it getting stiff and so the therapist will stretch and move it, the passive movement, but if you try lifting it up, that's active movement. You're starting to use those muscles. We don't want that. And so the sling's gonna help avoid that. So, all right, so let's talk about the parts of the sling. The first part is the sling itself, the cradle that holds the arm. It has a nice pad at the back of the elbow. Your elbow should sit all the way in the back. We're going to size you for it before we do the surgery so that we make sure it's the right length. You want the elbow all the way to the back and just so that it comes to about your palm, just so that your fingers are free to move. It's okay to use your hand as long as you're not moving the upper arm. So we want your hand free to be able to use it. There is a strap attached to the back of the sling, just like a regular sling that's going to go around your neck. It is going to clip into two little clips that go across the front to hold it in place. And I'll show you in a second how we attach those together. So that's the main parts of the sling. And for somebody who has something simple done that doesn't require a very long immobilization, maybe you've just had a small partial tear repair, we'll often just use that part alone. Or if maybe you've had a shoulder fracture, sometimes we're not going to put you in the larger contraption. And so this will be all that you'll need to use. There are two other main parts. One is the bump or the pillow. People don't tend to like this as much, but I'll tell you the reason why it's important is the sling is going to attach to that bump so that your arm is resting in the sling, but the bump keeps your arm out away from your body a little bit. There's two main reasons for that. One, it takes some of the tension off of the repair of the rotator cuff. It's as your arm comes up higher, there's not as much tension on those stitches to hold it in place. And so that's one important reason for the bump. The second is it allows a little arm to get in, uh, excuse me, a little air to get into your armpit. Also really, really important for hygiene. So that's the reason why we're going to use the bump attached to the sling, especially when you're going to be in this for four to six weeks or so. We also have a second strap, which oftentimes gets people kind of confused. This is for an additional strap to go underneath your arm. I'll show you how we put that on to make this a little bit more comfortable when you have to wear it. So the bump that we have is adjustable. It can be either on the right side or it can be on the left side. 
There, the clip for the bump is in the front, not in the back. The strap is in the back. So we see the strap goes in the back, the bump on the side. The sling does not sit on top of the bump. It attaches to a Velcro strap that goes along the outside. So I'm going to attach that sling to the Velcro strap so that it's nice and secure. You really can pretty much keep that together the whole time that you're in the sling. The second strap I told you about fits or underneath the arm to help take some of the tension off of the neck. This has a blue dot and a white dot. The strap that goes around the, your neck also has a blue dot and a white dot. The blues match up, the whites match up. So we're going to put the strap around the circles. This will all be fitted for you beforehand. This is just in case it comes apart and you're trying to figure out how in the world do I get this back together again. So I'm going to attach the whites together and I'm going to attach the other end through the ring where the blue dot is. Keeping the whites together and the blues together. Now we've made a circle in the sling itself. And that is going to go in the other arm. So this is how you're going to have it when you first come uh, out after surgery. Everything is already going to be attached together and all you have to do, keep it like this, put it on, it should already be fitted for you. Now how do you put on the sling at home without lifting the arm? The easiest way i found is to put the sling itself on a counter or on a table, like so. It's going to stay in that position you're not going to raise your arm and put it in the sling. You can use your other arm to lift it out. Again, this would be active movement. You using your hand to put it out there is passive. You're not using your muscles. So we're going to put the sling at a spot where I can easily get to it. I'm going to use my other arm to hold the affected shoulder and I'm going to set it in the sling. And once it's resting there, I'm not using my muscles to lift it. I can first pull the strap over the top to hold it in place. And now that's going to hold my arm in the cradle part of the sling. I can then use my other hand to lift it and hold it up. And while it's in this position, my arm's just hanging down. I'm not trying to raise it up. I can take the strap that goes around the waist, the single strap. I can attach it in the front, it clips right in. So once you have it in this position where the arm is cradled against your side, you have the strap that's going around your waist, now we're going to put the circular strap on just like a backpack. It comes on up and over the shoulder. You want to try to keep the blue dots facing forward. You want both blue dots being seen. The pad slides back and forth. It should be cradled against the side of your body so that it's not rubbing. And then once you have it in that position, you can even use your hand now to help clip it into position. So there's two clips. There's one, and then the second one goes in like so, and now we've got it attached. So you're going to be like this for, depending on the size of the tear, maybe four weeks, could be six if it's a really bad tear. This holds your arm down. Your elbow should be at a right angle. The back of the elbow tucked into the back of the sling where there's a nice pad. Your hand is free to move. It's okay to use a phone. You can keyboard. You can open a jar, but nothing where you're really trying to lift something or trying to raise your arm out to the side. Again, it should stay nice and secure against you in the front, but hand is okay to use here in front of you. To come out of the sling, just reverse the order. Three clips. 
one, two, and then the third. And then once you've unclipped it, you can take the strap off the shoulder, you can rest your elbow down, undo the strap that's holding it in place, and then lift your arm out. You don't have to do anything else to it. This would how it would stay until you're ready to put it back on again. So hopefully this answers a lot of questions about the sling use. If you have any concerns, give our office a call. We'll be glad to help you get it where it's more comfortable.